Okay, so we're back for another one of these very annoying uh, missions associated with this Divine Wrath stage. Stage 8 up against Fusion Zamasu. This one is the full superclass mission. Now, what's interesting is... I... When I mean full superclass mission, by the way, I mean just use five super types. Right? So, Super AGL, Super Tech, Super Int, Super SDR, and then Super Physical. So, I tried this with your traditional setups. You know, using Vegeta and Trunks, using... Oh, wow, 500k. Wait, we're, we're this low turn one, we still managed to clutch out the no item. I mean, we still managed to clutch out a victory, let, let, let alone a no item. But yeah, I tried this with traditional setups, Vegeta and Trunks, the GT Duo. I don't have the, the new Vegito, so of course I can't try him, but would you even want to bring him here when he's at type disadvantage? I'm not too sure. And... You could probably get it done. I mean, not probably. You can easily get it done with like a Vegeta and Trunks team or a GT duo team with items. Without items, I, I think it is pretty tough just because turn one, my Vegeta and Trunks, they're taking like, what is it, 480 from a super, right, on global? Uh, they're one dupe strong. So like, unless you have rainbow everything and you're able to get your dodges in, like, this guy just hits way too hard, right? Like, P Piccolo, we saw Piccolo there. He took 500k. Now, granted, Piccolo did not super attack. Piccolo had not eaten any of his hits. But even Piccolo takes a, a decent amount of damage in. I would say that Piccolo is the number one unit right now in Dokkan, right? Maybe I'm biased. No, I'm not biased. Like, I would want it to be Bulma, right? I'm an OG Dragon Ball fan, but Piccolo is just way too good. But even he is taking a ludicrous amount of damage. And the reason why is because Fusion's armor suit. This bomb just hits way too hard, right? He's hitting for like 2 million. Once you factor in the uh, the multipliers, you're a as a type neutral super class unit, that's 1.15 times. So oftentimes, Fusion Zamasu is hitting for like 2.3, 2.4 million. Most units are not getting to 1 million defense. So then you're expecting unit to get to like 1 million plus with some form of guard or damage reduction or just hope that they outright dodge it. Pretty insane how the power creep has, uh, has just elevated, and this is not like the Vegito stage, what was that, stage 5 or stage 6, where you're able to debuff him, you cannot debuff this Zamasu. So you're kind of just stuck in here with him. After after a while, I just said, yeah, screw it, we're just going to go to the Piccolo team, because of course, with the Orange Piccolo team, provided that you're running a full uh, super superheroes team, you have access to his giant mode on turn 3, Again, the giant mode, Piccolo's giant mode specifically is like the best thing in the game just because, number one, you nullify any shenanigans that the boss is able to um, output onto you as the player once you revert back. But number two, Piccolo's giant mode does hit incredibly hard because he can essentially perform, what is it, 27 super attacks if you get the full three turns of uh, Orange Piccolo's transformation. Uh, not to mention that if you have dupes and ideally you've got like 20 crit, that's a lot of freaking damage that he can just pile on very quickly to Fusion Zamasu. We've also got Beast Gohan here on the team as well. Remember, he has his active skill available to him on turn 3, which is very good because he's super effective against all types for that particular turn. Um, that also builds up his passive as well. And just generally, both Piccolo and Beast Gohan are very good for all of these, like, all of the, pretty much all the content which has dropped in this last month. Both these units excel at because they have their garden extra percentages for the first three turns. And then once those first three turns have elapsed, you can just revert to their um their respective active skills. For Piccolo, that's gonna be his orange transformation, and then for Beast, that's his special beam cannon. The special beam cannon, of course, is not as effective as Piccolo's, but it's still a good amount of damage. He still attack breaks or super attack, so you know Beast Gohan does provide value there. And of course, the rest of the team is pretty simple. Int Pan, very clutch here because she has type advantage and she's a dodging character as well as the support she's able to provide to all of these superheroes units is pretty spectacular. I threw Age of Gogeta Blue on the team. You could throw LRUI. I was just, I didn't, you, I've not used Age of Gogeta Blue for a while, so I thought we'd just use him. Um, S of Gogeta Blue, again, fantastic unit. Both, have, both him and then Vegito Blue are aging pretty well because... You fought them off on their first appearances, they come back, turn 4, the full dodge. And then if you see them again on turn 6, you'll likely just have their active skills available and just nuke the boss. So, pretty spectacular there. And I think that's it, right? AGL, Tech, Int, SDR, Physical. There's probably one, like, who, which character am I missing? I don't know, like, 
Uh, hello? Game? Uh, not game. Uh, excuse me. What character am I missing? Okay, thank god. Orange Piccolo is reverting back here, so we'll check. Oh, yeah, the SDR Piccolo. Yeah, that SDR Piccolo, by the way. Of course, he released last year. He's aging pretty gracefully. Especially with this, like, full superhero team, where a lot of these characters are, are all movie characters as well, so he's getting his full damage reduction activated as well. Now, here, I prioritize Beast Gohan with the physical key spheres for a few different reasons. Number one, let's just get Beast to his maximum key. And number two, it's very important for Beast to build up. And number three, the healing. Because 11 million, if he, if, basically, if Beast gives me, like, a triple super here, which is 11 million, followed by probably, like, an 8 million, followed by another 8 million, that's, what, 28 million, but it's all type effective. Of course, Beast forwarded out there a bit, but, you know, like, Beast can pour him work. It's just, is that additional going to be a normal, or is it going to be a super attack? And I've used units, everyone's used units with, like, a great chance of this to happen or a great chance of that to happen, but Beast's, Beast's additional does not feel like a great chance to be a super attack. It feels like a high chance, right? I feel like I get Piccolo's, Piccolo Jr.'s, a high chance to perform an additional super attack more often than Beast's normal, which has a great chance to become a super. So my rotations, usually they're like preset in stone, but this is a stage where I'm kind of just, I'm changing them on the fly, right? Um, depending on where Zamasu is attacking, I'm going to have to put certain units here, certain units elsewhere. I mean, the great thing about this team build is that there isn't really a need for a specific rotation. I would like to maintain, of course, the Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo rotation. I think that's a must. The, the other rotation is just where is the boss attacking, where isn't the boss attacking. And ideally, um, I, I do think bringing STR Piccolo, whilst he is a pretty good unit to have here, he does kind of hamper the team a little bit, just because we want the full um, superhero rotation to get Piccolo's turn free orange Piccolo transformation. But with the other rotation already handling that, I don't really think it's the biggest of deal. And remember, STR Piccolo is supplying a huge power buff to the LR orange Piccolo because of the support. But namely the links that we're getting activated. So again, rotations, one of them is definitely going to be Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, but the other one just adjusts to um, how Zamasu is attacking you. That's pretty much it. Uh, at this point, I think we are smooth sailing. And the reason why I'm saying this event is so difficult, even with like the Orange Piccolo team, I mean, I threw a clip up on Twitter. I had like Orange Piccolo in essentially almost perfect situation, in a perfect scenario. We had STR Piccolo support, we had the Interpan support, we put him in slot two, he got to super attack, he was fully built up. His um, extra percentages that he gets for the first three turns did run out, as well as his guard. But he was sitting at like 1.2 million defense with his 20% damage reduction. And he still ended up taking 600k from this fusion Zamasu. Which is just like mind-boggling to me. And at the end of the day here, if Zamasu wanted to, he could end the run by super attacking uh, slot 2. I'm, un I'm not actually sure if STR Piccolo would live. I, I would presume he's taking like 500k. So he'd probably tank better than the orange piccolo just because he has a combination of guard and damage reduction remember um you know piccolo has that combination orange piccolo but he only has it for the first three turns whereas sdr piccolo pretty much has it forever provided that you're just running a full movie hero setup so thank you for watching i think from here we we comfortably win i think we do end up popping uh, i say we end up popping i think we do end up taking a risk in the next turn by throwing ag elgo g to blue in slot one with a 70% chance to dodge, but it worked out in my favor. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.